good morning so today we will be seeing another topic okay and this is how we can use the pega react starter kit okay so we'll see from starting to end how we can configure this okay so first understands what is a starter kit react starter kit so pega react starter kit is, is an offer from offering from the pega okay so where we can configure our applications whatever we have developed in pega the same ui okay we don't have to write the code again so we can same ui and everything we can present in that uh, uh, in a normal websites okay using react or using angular and few other technology view okay so the same code can be utilized okay because if you see nowadays like everyone is looking for a better ui okay using react or another java another uh, javascript language okay so that is where we'll see how we can configure okay so let's start from the beginning how we'll do it okay so in this session i'll cover from uh, downloading to install and everything and then also will launch and also will modify few things okay in our applications and see how it will look like so the first thing is that we need to install so this is the link okay if you just google in that uh, pega, pega reactor starter kit you'll get this link i'll attach this link in the video and from here you can download so i have already downloaded it okay so what you can do after downloading it will download in the uh, your download folder after downloading what we have to do we have to extract so this is the folder which we will get this is the file which we will get okay so after this we, we have to unzip this one so after unzipping you will see something like this okay so then one more things you have to unzip inside this one is that inside this one you will find react app okay react app so you have to unzip that one as well so you can see that that part is already there pega react okay so you have to unzip this one as well okay or let me uh, I can show you again by doing that. So let me delete this one quickly and let's do it from the beginning. Okay, so I'll just uh, unzip this one. So the moment I'll unzip, I can see this one. Now you ha we have to go inside that one and inside React app, we have to unzip this one again. Okay, so let's unzip this one again. So I'll just click and then yes so we got this is the this is the basically our uh, project file. Okay, which we will on which we will import on which will import on uh, visual studio code okay so now our package is ready okay so we have downloaded and uh, unzipped it okay now next what we have to do okay that okay we have to install that so we need our pega applications okay so for that one okay we are not going to create pega have already pega have already giving a sample applications called cable connect in this one so we will just install that one only for now okay and we will see okay so we'll use that one only so inside that if you see in the pega uh, react starter kit we have a cable connect app so we'll this is the zip file okay which pega is giving with a sample application so we'll install this um this zip file so i have already installed so we i don't have to do it redo okay so you can see that okay cable connect applications is already installed and i have the case type okay so let's re revisit the steps okay which i have mentioned here so the first they are download the react starter kit from i this is the url extract the package to some folder then extract again the pega react folder fine and then install the cable connect zip file to server okay so pega server so we are we are kind of a completed this many steps okay so the next things what we have to do and here one more things i have done it here so here i have added two more drop downs okay so you can see that when i'm selecting country then it's populating the state okay and when i'm uh, like okay when i'm selecting usa then it's coming for the usa so this was not there in pega so i've created a sample data type and a true drop down why i have done it because i want you to make uh, i want to make you learn that yes the data piece parameterized data piece is also working the only things we have to make sure that yes on selections of any drop down we have to do post actions okay post actions uh, post actions means we have to refresh that on change so here on change we have to refresh then your data page will work in that react side as well so we'll see that so this is how it is working in pega one more thing i want to mention here very much important point is that if you have a visibility conditions on the ui okay then you have to make sure that you are configuring a when rule instead of expressions because if you use expression it will not work so you have to configure when rule and on each when rule uh, like on that uh, drop down or if you are doing like any radio buttons you have to make sure that you have added actions refresh okay what happens when we use that refresh like when uh, like actions then from that react 
Pega will hit to the server and then again it will bring back what we have to display but if you just use that uh, expressions uh, then it won't work so that is the important part so now we are done with this part okay so we have kind of downloaded that and then extracted the folder install the cable connect zip folder okay so we are ready okay now next things what we have to do okay so here in cable connect okay pega is using that ui ui kit but if you want you can up upgrade your ui kit so i have done that in this application so that will get a better view here you can update your applications built on applications and then after that you need to update this cosmos skin so that will get this one otherwise in pega one you you will have that ui starter pega ui kit okay so next next let's uh, see what uh, okay next what we have to do is okay we'll we'll open that this one so let's see what we have to do so pega part we are done non pega side what we have to do we have to first install the vs code okay so yeah you can just google it and install that vs code so this is very easy the next step is install that node.js yes we need node.js to run our npm command okay so that is your second step now the next step is open that pega react folder so i told that that is the uh, project folder so we'll open on vs code okay so let's see so i'll open this visual studio and open that react folder so here in recent i already had opened so i will just click from here and opening that next things what you have to do we have that open that folder okay let's go back again what we have to do here is we have to install this okay so in to to run this to run this project we have to install some dependency okay so for that what we will do we'll install that we'll run this command run npm install okay so i'll just move this step i'll move this step next to this one so first we'll install this so we'll say run npm install we will copy this command npm install so we have to install the all dependency so we will copy this and then come here open uh, a terminal so from terminal we can open a new terminal and we will install but before clicking enter we have to make sure that okay package.json log jsons we can delete it because this can create some problem okay so just delete it okay no use of this one because we already have that package or package.json so with that it will create again a package uh, hyphen log.json so i'll just delete it okay not required now i'll hit enter npm install so what it will do from package.json it will install all the dependency whatever we needed to run this project so let's wait for a second it will take a minute to install the package uh, and then next what we have to do we have to connect to our pega server with this react part okay so that is where we will update our pega endpoint url okay and here we will be using basic authentications we will not be using oauth or anything okay if you want to use oauth for your real time projects uh, we need another sessions but today we will be just using that basics basic authentication so let's see if it is it got installed yes so we can see that everything got installed next things which i have mentioned here is that we have to go and update that so in this file okay we have to go service src service services endpoint.js js we have to go there and update the endpoint url so we'll just navigate it to that file so we'll open the project folder so src and then inside services we have that endpoint.js so here you can see that by default it's there the local host what we can do we'll just copy this endpoint url from here before uh, pr web okay because pr web is already there okay so we'll just come here and copy that path yeah so that's it copy this path we saved it we don't have to update anything here you can see that use v2 apis if you are using a screen flow then you can use it because v2 is only for pega is using v2 api only for uh, uh, this one screen flow okay so just to remind you that we have a dx api version 1 and dx api version 2 so in this one in this react starter kit pega is mostly using dx api 1 only dx api 1 okay through the dx api 1 it is connecting to the pega server and it is trying to load the views or any other things okay so question is what is dx api 2 so dx api 2 is 
building an ui inside the pega uh, like pega only with the react okay so that is the dx api2 okay so in this one for that uh, starter kit pega is mostly using dx api1 so that is just for your knowledge okay we don't have to like here you can see that already we have the case type and and few other things updated okay so let's say if you are in place of customer like if you in place of your other applications in place of a customer cable if you want to use for your applications you can update your few basic things details but i don't think it is much used even if you will not do if you log in with that operator let's say you have another loan educations or loan application so you, you need to just log in with one user who is having access to loan applications it is similar okay so in a box in a pega server we can have many applications if you log in with that particular operator so based on his access group it will determine it will show the portal okay so that's it so now uh, that we have updated endpoint url also so let's see what is the next step so next step is we have to just start the server so we'll just hit npm start one more thing that i have written the steps here if you want you can read that pega documentations as well so you'll find the documentation inside that folder so here inside that starter package you can see that we have a document we can read okay but i have just uh, like uh, noted down the important important points okay for you which will with with that you can easily do it with this step so just hit this npm start so it will do it will start the server so npm start so it's starting the server so now you can see it will launch the browser automatically one browser okay uh, in your uh, like one window in your browser okay in the default uh, browser okay so now that it is done okay so here i have already logged in so maybe that is why it is coming so now you need to log in okay so you need to make sure that you are logging with the correct operator id who have that like who have the access to that uh, applications and also you need to make sure that operator id is not disabled because maybe if you're installing the package for the first time you will see that your operator id is disabled okay and if you're trying to log in it won't work so you need to make sure the operator id is not disabled and also you need to make sure the password is updated and you are using the same password so for now i'm using the roles only so the moment i log in we can see the dashboard here and with the walk list okay so i have already created few cases so we can see here okay so let me create a case here in pega and then also there and we'll compare that okay so see here i created s6 now if i create then it will it will be s7 because yes both the servers in sync okay just that here one we are seeing in the pega and one here we are seeing in that react okay so let me go ahead and create a new case service so see here we got s7 and here i was talking that yes few of the validations and everything pega is firing see you can see that like it's working fine and few few things i wanted to show here i have added this two object okay drop down in the beginning i told why because i wanted to show you that yes that parameterized data page is working with that starter kit if you are using and uh, if your property is directly if parameter is directly used from the py walk page okay if you are not using page context okay so i'll show you the configuration so here if you see i've selected canada then i'm seeing ontario if i'm selecting india then i'm seeing maharashtra okay so it is populating okay it is populating validations is working fine okay so on configuration side what you have to do to make sure okay that you are not using a page con uh, reference like uh, we use that py walk page dot abc dot so that won't work you have to directly give that okay let's say that uh, country code so dot country code then it will work okay even if you have the page reference it will work but it won't take the top or py walk page okay so that you have to make sure if you are using data page and also if you have any visibility condition so let's say um, i want to display if i'm uh, selecting service code okay then i want to display some more field so on that field you need to add a when rule as i mentioned here in this in this note okay without this one it won't work okay because what happens each time it will go back and refresh to the server and bring the data back okay so that is where you need to do that so now you can see that okay the things is loaded so we can fill the data also and we can move forward so fake so so you can see that few suffixes there so we can just select something and then email id we can select service date also we can select and then we have already selected last one so see here also i'll do the same thing and we can compare that
so if I submit here also let's see if we submit it then it's showing a next address okay so and and one more thing so yes we are seeing only that uh, work list here but if your operator is having few work baskets so that also will show so let's see we'll go ahead and, and give some work basket to that operator id so then what will happen in that drop down here uh, we'll see that work basket as well but currently it is not showing so what i'll do i'll go ahead and open that operator id and configure few uh, work basket So here in work okay so you can see that there is no work basket so for now I'll just give we don't have any cases but I'll just give some work basket so here cable connect author and cable connect uh, one more manager I'll give just for so there is no cases but just to show show you okay so I'll just refresh this screen and let's see if you're getting that see we got that so now we have those two work basket also showing so if you select we don't find anything but yes that is also that option is also there that we can see let's go back to work list few settings is also there here that if you want to show right panels okay let me see if it is working because i tried i had tried before that and it was not working one more thing is that show work group in work basket so that also we can see okay few more things is there so you can explore this part okay for now i'll just check this checkbox and submit and let's see if it is working so if i open case s7 so yeah you can see that case details is also saying so if you compare with this one it is very much similar right and the look and feel is good it is looking as smooth okay so this is uh, okay so this is what also we have the get next work okay so like most of the features are there so you can see that get next work if we click we are getting one case s3 also here okay i have seen that in angular one we have that recent one so if you don't have we can like if you know a little bit the coding of the react set you can configure that but uh, but the basic things is working so you can try okay trying doing the poc you don't you don't need much details because pega is already giving that cable connect application in this one and if you want to connect with your applications that also you can do so that's it for today's session so let me let me recap the whole session so here we are trying to connect a react starter kit okay uh, like from uh, with with an existing pega application so what we did we downloaded that react starter kit with that pega is already giving that cable connect application we installed that cable connect applications and then we unzip that the react starter kit open open that react starter kit on visual studio okay and then we install that the dependency using npm install and then we updated that endpoint server okay in endpoint endpoint uh, js okay on inside the services and then what we did we uh, ran the server using npm start okay once the service is started with the we logged in with with our operator id who has the access to that applications so so that is that is the configurations we did and then we created a case one more thing you have to make sure that if you're using if you're trying to connect with your existing applications where you have marked that applications i mean like you mark that case type as a temporary case okay so then it won't work so you have to make sure that your case type is not temporary if you do that it won't work okay so you have to make sure that one as well if you're using with application so that's it for today's sessions i hope this quick sessions will help you and you'll be able to do that poc so thank you thank you very much have a good day